three. Dell, powered by the Tennessee Lottery on 104.5. It's home. Brent Doherty making your eye with you until 6 o'clock. It is time to join in with our buddy Austin Huff. He's got some Court Batch musings for that, A eh? At Austin Huff on Twitter, at Court Batch on Twitter. Austin, what's up? How are you? Hey, guys, I'm going to start today with a question for you, okay? Right. Okay. Do you smell what the rock is buying? What? <laughs> I love that. I love, love, love that Vince McMahon owned XFL, was now bought by the rock, and is totally pooling an undertaker completely back from the dead <laughs> and honestly i couldn't be more excited because the xfl is now rivaling halloween spider-man and a star is born for the number of times it's been rebooted i just hope <laughs> that the rock doesn't make this reboot as bad as he made the jumanji reboot you can't just make a movie about getting stuck in a video game and call it jumanji Dwayne. anyway i a lot of people like to crap on the xfl but not me not this guy i love it and Battle honestly Hawks. Oh, without question, go Battle Hawks, go um, or Kaka, I believe is the champ. And honestly, <laughs> I'm not. Oh, sure. It is full of Kaka, that's for sure. <laughs> hey, easy, <laughs> easy, Nikki. All right, this this take is now directed towards you. All right, I I don't understand why every red blooded American doesn't love the XFL. It's not trying to compete with the NFL. It's not even trying to be the NFL. If anything, it's it's more football. It's fun. And, uh, oh, yeah, not sure if you've heard this or not, but it's extreme. One of the things I love most about the XFL is how innovative it is. Now, let me ask you guys some questions, okay? What was the first league to introduce the Skycam? The XFL. The XFL. What was the first league to give us on-field cameras and in-game interviews? The XFL. The XFL. What was the first league to have pro football in both L.A. and Las Vegas at the same time? The, uh, the XFL. Hope, okay, I think we're oh. getting a trend here, yes. And what was the first league to give Johnny Manziel a shot after the NFL didn't work out? The SE. I mean, the XFL. No, that was actually no, the, the Alliance AF. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But still, I fell into your trap. The XFL is awesome, okay? And you guys want to know a fun fact about me? I actually played XFL Fantasy back in 2001, not to brag. <laughs> uh, do you guys want to guess who my starting quarterback was? Jay Barker. Uh, close. Tommy Maddox. And let me just say this. The Tommy Maddox was like having LaDainian Tomlinson or Priest Holmes back in the day. Just a points machine. He took the LA Extreme to the million-dollar game and won. Again, not to brag. And then the league folded. Uh, Touch, but Touchdown he, Tommy. Yeah, I mean, touchdown Tommy. That's where yeah. he got the nickname. He wouldn't have been a Steelers quarterback had it not been for his actual fall run. Very uh, true. But people like to think that this latest iteration of the XFL folded because it wasn't successful. No, it was doing just fine. It folded because uh, – oh, wait, what was it? Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. A global pandemic that nobody saw coming, okay? even. But I will say this. Even me, an XFL maniac, not to be mistaken with a Memphis maniacs, uh, shout out, uh, I can admit that things – need to change this time around with the rock hosting and and i have a few ideas so i hope you're listening Dwayne. uh one bring back the names on the back of the jerseys okay you remember those remember the names on the back of the jerseys you had guys like x-rated hit squad and big <laughs> daddy and yes most of them sounded like really bad soundcloud rappers but you also had <laughs> legends like he hate me and jeff brom now, speaking, <laughs> speaking of names, I think we need uh, we need to change up the names of the current teams a little bit, okay? Like, you've got the Los Angeles Wildcats. Like, how long did they spend in a boardroom coming up with that name? The New York Guardians? What, are they going to help sign consent forms for the XFL teams who are under the age of 18? Uh, <laughs> the Tampa Bay Vipers? I I'm pretty sure that one's just a team from any given Sunday. And the Houston Roughnecks. Now, I know it's not, but this one just sounds racist. Like, let's go ahead and just call them the Houston football team. And, and then, of course, you've got the St. Louis Battlehawks, who's one of, like, like, I don't know how they came up with this name. Because, like, who's the most hated team in St. Louis? It's the Chicago Blackhawks. So, okay, let's name it that, but just slightly different. The Battlehawks. Okay, sure. That would be like naming a uh, Nashville XFL team the Tennessee Battle Texans. 
<laughs> and we can't we can't go back to like the old names from the original XFL either, because one of those team names was literally the New York Hitmen. Like, think about this: the Wizards changed from the Bullets because they thought it was maybe too offensive. And meanwhile, the XFL was cool with a mascot of someone who literally who's literally hired to murder people. <laughs> But speaking of violence, I think the last thing the XFL needs to change, make fighting legal. How extreme can you be if you're not allowed to Donnie Brook at midfield? Hockey does it. Let, let the XFL do it too. But anyway, I'm just, I, I'm just glad to see The Rock is back in football. And a lot of people think this is the first time we've seen him in football since his stint with the Calgary Stampeders after his Miami playing days. But – those people clearly never saw Disney's lovable 2007 family comedy, The Game Plan, where The Rock played a quarterback, which was unbelievable casting at the time. Um, but it also paved the way for someone that big to play quarterback, uh, like Cam Newton is now doing. So I'm Boston stoked for Rebels. the XFL. Yes. <laughs> um, but uh, hey, Mickey, uh, I got a question for you. If this is Cardinals related, I'm going to hate you, but go ahead. Uh, no, 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 it's not. Okay. What's up with your Cardinals? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently a casino trip. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Cardinals, Cardinals fans will always be the first ones to point out that they have 11 World Series titles. But what they won't point out is that over half of those came before World War II and segregation. But if they caused the season to be canceled, I think – I'm going to start a change.org petition because I think we need to take away like f at least five of those trophies for ruining it for everyone else. <laughs> and like, what do they have? A total of uh, last I saw was 13 people testing positive. Then again, I guess we shouldn't be surprised that the Cardinals had someone test positive cough, Mark McGuire cough, cough, Rick and Keel cough, Johnny Peralta. <laughs> it's like if, they, if there's one thing the cardinals are good at it's testing positive for things <laughs> the, the cardinals say they have the best fans in baseball but clearly they have the worst plans in baseball like <laughs> a casino mickey really al pacino and joe pesci wouldn't be caught dead in a casino during a pandemic even danny ocean's like yeah thanks but i'll, I'll wait for covid to die down before i go go rob the bellagio the like the the cardinals the I, I will say this though. It's very own brand though. The Cardinals getting everyone sick because they wanted to go to a casino is literally the most Missouri story of all time. <laughs> John Heyman, John Heyman. I saw he tweeted that there's no proof. The casinos caused the cases, but I'll say it. The casinos caused the cases, <laughs> especially if they're the casino boats here in St. Louis, like you could go outside and literally lick every lamppost and it would still be cleaner <laughs> than going to a casino here on the rivers in St. Louis. And now don't get me wrong. There's not a ton to do in St. Louis. The boats are what you do, but maybe not when COVID is on the rise. And now their series with the Tigers is postponed. The field of dreams is getting canceled because really they're playing on a field of nightmares. But like, I, it, it, I don't even remember the last time I watched a Cardinals game. Like it's been so long since they've played a game because they keep getting all these series canceled. I feel like the last time that I saw them on the field, Sotoguchi was playing left field. What, what are they like two and two? And now here we are. The season's probably going to get canceled and they're going to end with a 500 record. I look, I, I just, I, if the Cardinals, I, part of me wonders if the Cardinals did this on purpose because they know their offense this year is just as bad as their offense was last year. So this is kind of like a chess move. But all I'll say is, Cardinals, you got to stay out of the casino, okay? And if you do go to the casino, just stay in there until the pandemic is done. Put all your money on black. Just don't bet on Cardinal Red. You better not use your corked bats media platform to slander so to Gucci, sir. Or you are dead to me. <laughs> so to Gucci, I look. I'll, I'll being honest. So to Gucci is the goat. So good is more like it. <laughs> All right. Looks like Brent is uh, his microphone is, is is currently out of commission. Uh, Austin, give all the corked bat handles so people can find you and can follow you and have great laughs uh, at corked bats. Literally all the socials: YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, uh, corkbats.com. It's cork spelled with a K. Not yes. with a C, how you would normally spell it. We we don't know how to spell. So, well, that K will equal the strike that the Cardinals have taken uh, from playing games <laughs> this week. Austin Huff says goodbye. 
We'll be back uh, with the four o'clock hour coming up next to start. Uh, we'll start you with headlines. See you, Austin. I'm going to the casino. See ya. <laughs> we'll be back.